we go? Well, there are some that, oh, well, we're started. Hello. Hi, everybody. We got people coming in. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe some of you know this, maybe some of you don't, but today is a special day because... Dun, dun, da -da -da! The only pirate of the pop. I can't say the only name. The only pirate at the party is now available. It's out. Yay! We're published authors. It's crazy. It's very it's crazy. So exciting. But you can get it today. Yes, you can get it online. You can get it at Barnes and Nobles. You can get it wherever you want. Um, yeah. Links on my website. Anyways, um, earlier this week we said we were going to Periscope. Our flight got delayed a lot. Um, so yes. we're just getting to it now. Um, but we were we got a lot of questions about the book that we were going to answer today. So we're going to go through some of those. We said we were going to answer ten. We're probably going to answer more like fifty. Yeah. <laughs> and if you guys have, when we get to the a little bit later, we'll ask you if you have any questions, and you can yes, if you we know, don't write in your question. anything that you wanted to know. So okay, why did you decide to write a book together? Mm. Hmm. Good question. Well, I'll, I'll start this one. Um, so I had the idea that I wanted to write a memoir, and I wanted to, I felt like I had a lot of stories to share, and, um, because you guys asked me all these questions and meet and greets and whatever, and I wanted, I never felt like I was able, ever able to do them full justice, because some of them were very deep questions. Um, and so did I have the capability to write a great book? Mm -hmm. Maybe. 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 <laughs> it would have probably taken me about 15 years. So, um, Brooke is a creative writing major. Yeah, I was actually in school at the moment. Yes. Yeah, so I was finishing my degree at ASU. Anyway, she called me up one day and was like, hey, you want to write a book together? It's like, sure, that sounds like fun. <laughs> Wait, let's be honest though. Were you, were, what were your, actually, we never talked about this. What were your actual thoughts? Were you like, Lindsay's crazy or? Um, I was like really shocked at first because I didn't expect it. I never thought of it before, I guess. And it was a little weird. And then I was like, that could be really fun. And I'd never written anything, so I was very nervous. It's my first published work, so I was definitely very scared. But she had faith in me, and we I did. did it. Yay! <laughs> no, I was like, I kept telling her over and over again. She was like, are you, I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? You, sure you, you want, want me to do this? <laughs> and I was like, absolutely, because to be honest, I when I thought about writing a book, you know, some people had suggested it, but I thought... I don't, well, I didn't feel comfortable quite being able to write it myself, but, um, and also I didn't really want to just get a random writer to help me. Like, Brooke knows me better than any person on the planet, probably. She's known me I've since, known her for a while. Since, um, let's see, I think since I was three. Yes. She's known me. I've and we it. shared, we shared a room together when we were kids. Um, we went to college as roommates. She's come on tour with me. Yeah, which brings us to some of the other questions. Someone asked, like, what was the hardest chapter to write? And I think mm. uh, the hardest sections to write were the ones that I wasn't there for because I've been there for yes. almost all of the parts of her life. So childhood, college, um, I've been on tour with her, visited her in L.A. Like, I've just seen all of her life except for the mission chapter. Oh, yeah. I was not there for that. Um, and then, like, the late high school part because we were at really different phases of life. I was like, you know. She was a freshman. Coming out of junior high, and there's just like kind of a maturity gap there at that age. So those were the two sections that were the hardest, because everything else I kind of experienced with her. I was even, even there for America's Got Talent. That's right. And she was in the audience I've been that at night. award shows with her, so I've kind of gotten to see every little aspect of her life in some small glimpse, um, which really helped as we were working on this together. Um, except for those two. So I was like, oh gosh, like I I don't even have like a glimpse of those. Yeah. So I have to like, especially the mission one, I wasn't there, you know, at all. So I had to really, we had to work really hard to kind of make sure we got those, we got right. it all down correctly. Bing. So yeah. Nailed that was it. was the hardest. Um, let's see. Have you actually laughed while writing the book? Yes. We think we're pretty funny. We, I'm not going to lie. Like a lot of times we would be laughing so hard with like, why do we think we're so funny? It's not that funny. So, or it was I hope like, you guys think it's a little bit funny, maybe. 
But. Right? Well, one time, I can remember one time in particular, I'm not going to tell you the story of the book because you got to get it and you got to yeah. read it, but it was when we were on, we were on a, a long flight and we were a little bit delirious. We, we were, were exhausted. We were I think, so it was a really long flight. Yeah. It was the Philippines. <laughs> yeah. And we'd had, it was that day when we went backwards in traffic on, act yeah, mm -hmm. that's the story in itself. But, um... Anyways, we're finally on the flight. We're flying home, and we could. Everyone else is sleeping around it was us. Like silent, and, and we were, were like deliriously, like, like giggling, like trying so hard. Trying, because we were just working. You know, we we're just working on it, and then all of a sudden we like hit something that just really tickled struck our chord. fancy, and we're like, "That is funny." And it was a story that she brought up. She's like, "Well, this there was one this time, one time. It was an embarrassing story. I was trying to dig up embarrassing moments, and she's she like, got well, one. This one time, and it was a good one. So." Can't wait for you to read Just it. Just a little hit. It's actually the part, I, I sent out a tweet where I was laughing really hard and I was reading the audiobook. The audiobook, yes. There were several moments when I had a hard time reading it, but this one we actually had to continue the chapter, come finish it, it later. and come back later because I couldn't handle it. And mm -hmm. a little hint, just so you know what part it is, um, when you read the book, it's a story when I'm getting a, a ride with somebody. I think it's a chapter titled Blame It on the Boys. I, I think it's in that one. It's my guess. I'm but you'll know. Sure. So now you'll, you'll know, know the it. story when you get to it. Um, okay, let's see. Someone asked what our favorite chapter was. Yeah, go ahead. My favorite chapter, I think, is from the childhood chapters, and it's um, it's a chapter that kind of highlights my dad. Scarf man. And he's scarf man, and I've always been very close to like just my whole family, but I think that chapter really sums up in a really, like, Brooke did such a good job of taking you through, like, laughter to, like, all of a sudden, like, really sentimental, like, <laughs> oh, it's, like, so good. <laughs> Not sad, just, like, no. wow, like, he sacrificed a, a lot for me. Strings, yeah. A little tug. Bing, bing. Um, my favorite chapter is in the back, I think, um, there's a chapter called My Car, and I just had a lot of fun writing that chapter, because it let me kind of go back and forth between childhood and um, current, and I just really like, I really like what her car says about her, <laughs> and it was one yes. that I was like, we have to write about your car. We gotta write about the car. And she was like, okay. Echo. Um, we, she dug up some pretty good stuff on that, so I really like that chapter. It's kind of a weird one, but, mm -mm. um, let's see, how did you decide to write it? We already kind of went over that. Did you struggle with any chapters? Did that. Favorite chapter? Um, favorite chapter. One thing, um, one of the hardest chapters for me to be able to do with Brooke on my side was probably the chapter where I talk about my eating disorder and to kind of convey. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. I can't believe I forgot. That was, was definitely gonna, yeah. the hardest one. Because I saw a couple people must have missed it. At the beginning, we, I think we started with the hardest chapter to write, but for me, that was really oh, hard yeah. to, that was daunting, express how it felt to have like a mental disease. And that's one thing that I could not relate to personally. Right. So it was so hard for me to try to, because it's a very important and delicate issue. I didn't want to get it wrong. Yeah. So we spent a ton of time on that one. I think it was one back of the first forth, ones that we started writing and one of the last ones that we actually like wrapped up because mm -hmm. we wanted to get it like totally right and kind of make sure that we portray what it's about, what it's like, and you know, how to you know, work through that and make sure that we didn't, like, idolize it at all because that is not what we were trying to do. We just wanted yeah. to kind of share her experience without making it glorified, glorified or, at all. Or, or it, we didn't want it to be, like, a poor me chapter, too. Yeah, we didn't not, want it, woe is me. It, it was, was supposed, supposed to be, to... like, a... Basically, the reason I thought it was so important to share that was because, well, one, it's a big <laughs> part of my life, and, you know, it, it was a part of who I was once upon a time, but I wanted people to realize that whatever demons they faced, like, you can overcome them and you can you can get through them. And so it was a chapter that I wanted to get right because I wanted it to give people hope. Yeah, yeah. So that was probably the, definitely the hardest one. And if you guys have any, um, um, Rue double O, ow, <laughs> I notice you. <laughs> um, but... Again, everybody, hi. We're just uh, tuning in. We're in New York City. The book launched today. We're at Simon & Schuster right now. Yes! See, look, there's our book. It's up on the shelf over there if you can see it. Yay! Yay! Um, and we're going to Barnes & Noble's today um, in New York City in uh, Union Square. And we're going to be signing and meeting people and talking to people. And there's also a full date of, there's a full book tour that's happening. And we're yeah, going all across. Yeah, we wish that we were going to more places. But if I you're know. close to any of them, we'd love to see you. Yeah, please come out. Um, we're super stoked. If you're stoked. not, we'd still love you and appreciate your support. Yes. 
Oh, um, someone one. just said I love the Scarf Man chapter. That was my favorite oh, chapter. Yeah, I yeah, it's so cool that they're like, <laughs> I know you can read it, read it now. right now. It's for sale. You can go grab you it. You can go get it. While we're talking here oh about it. Oh my gosh. Um, someone asked, um, how, did you write the book during your tours? Were you in one room? Um, oh, and that's actually a kind of a cool story. You want to start? Sure. So we started it when I was in college. She was a musician at the you know, time. So we actually started um, working on it just over the phone and mostly on Skype. We'd Skype a lot. Um, right. We, we kind of, at the beginning, fleshed out, like, what the whole thing would should be, kind of told me what kind of things she wanted to get across, what we wanted to include. And then from there, we just kind of just, like, picked little pieces and, and worked as we went. And I would ask a ton of questions and then write a little bit and then ask a ton of questions and then fill in the blanks and then ask a ton of questions. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, and the cool thing also is... We were writing this as sometimes Brooke was on tour with me, and mm-hmm. we'd work late after shows. But also when or on Brooke, travel days or whatever, yeah, we'd like sit in the bus and just write. And then other times when Brooke wasn't on tour with me, we were still working on it. We've been working on it for three years, and so like I would Skype her after a show, and it's like two in the morning my time, but you know it's like middle to, of the day her time. We have to like coordinate times. Like, okay, I'm gonna be working, you know, this time to this time, and she'd be like, okay, well I'm performing this time to this time and working. You know, whatever. So we just kind of find little pieces throughout the day, um, and we would welcome oh, back, hey! Kristen. 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 Hi. I was watching you guys. Oh, <laughs> she brought oh. us lunch. Yes. Oh, L- people are asking if Luna is out with us. Look at Luna. Luna. Luna, say hi to everybody. <laughs> Wait, Adina, turn her around. Show them her awesome jacket. Her little jacket says, oh, "We are Gabby." Adina got that for Luna. Oh! <laughs> Luna, yay! She's excited to be out with us. She's going to be coming to the book signings as well. I want to teach her how to put her little paw on an ink pad. And on a book. And then on a book. She hasn't learned yet, so don't get too excited. But um, that's my hope. Um, anyway, yeah, lots of post-show, post-show Skype sessions. From yes. all around the world. Oh, yes. Um, how many hours did, or days did it take you to record the audiobook? Lindsay? It took like six days or five days. Of like four to five hours at a time. Yeah, I'd do it for four hours straight. And um, as you'll see in the very first chapter of the book, it talks about that I don't um, read well. read well aloud. And so it was kind of a process to record the book. She I did had to, really good, oh, though. thanks. I was really kind of nervous. I was like I this. I was impressed. I thought that it, we, it was going to take a lot more time than it did because she... Did well! This Yay! little pirate! I can you read! You cannot stop her! I've been working on that <laughs> since I was, you know, five. So I'm really glad that I can read. Uh, Someone asked me, I was doing an interview, and she, a phone interview about the book, and she asked me, so, can you, do you feel like you can read now? And I was like, well, I, of course I, I mean, I can, I can read. Like, I just, it was really Yeah, she funny. knows how to read. It's just, she's like, you know, sometimes she reads I just, slower than... The average bear person. Mm-hmm. Oh, or person. Oh, person. Human. She's not giving herself enough credit. Okay. okay. Um, let's see. Oh, I send a kiss to you, too. <coughs> Mwah! Mwah! Says, do you think you'll ever publish another book after this one? I, already, I haven't talked to you about it yet. I already have an idea. Oh. But if, a while. I'm going to be there. Let Brooke have a break and work on some of her. Oh. Sorry, Jared. You're interrupting my... But yeah, so, so I got idea for teacher. Oh, I have an idea, but some idea for her projects. Do I have a couple ideas? That have put my my next. Yeah, because I mean, obviously, you'll see. Brooke is such a writer. Um, you know, not only did I choose her because she's my sister, but I would read her blogs, and she just cracks me up. And so I was like, "This is the, this is the one." <laughs> Do you ever think you'll write a children's or illustrated book? Actually, I think that she might we think <laughs> might have a children's book someday. <laughs> yeah, we'll call it the Lunar Landing. She's she's a popular in the Simon and Schuster <laughs> office. She's already <laughs> won over, so I think it's gonna be that's a so cake. true. <laughs> Um, okay, maybe just a couple more questions, and if you guys have questions, then please oh, what ask was them. your purpose for writing a book? My purpose for writing a book, um... And I, what do you want people to take from it? Oh, there's several takeaways from the book, and the reason I did want to write it was to story, and I wanted, you know, to, to hopefully inspire somebody or, or make people realize that it's okay to be, to be different and to be unique, and, you know, every single one of us is. And so 
people would t have that, that takeaway. Whatever it is they want to do in life, you can do it. Because I definitely had the odds against me. And I think um, it's not the people that, you know, it's not. different yeah. ah. oh, two more do you ever get stressed block yes all the time okay blankly it happened a lot, a lot. Um, it's a lot, lot with my <laughs> as well yes it's just a piece of the process it, it is I think I was a terrible writer yeah I used to think like nobody just is this bad like I never this paragraph three hours and nothing's happened but yeah I'm just everybody any there was last, last question. Oh, was one. oh was it does it have America's Got Talent experiences in it? Does. it does. Here's made it made us you know cut it down a little bit more than we wanted to. We had a little bit more juicy. Details. Yeah, it was like your pre edit, but, legal edit, but you know it's there. It's there, and we, I, yeah, we got more, more like. Than, than actually, because I guess you're, you're not that. So that's okay though. There's some good There's stuff, really really and um, I think it'll turn out really good. We were a little nervous at first, like oh, but our editor was awesome and he really, really helped us kind of shape it in. So yay! All right, guys, love, love you. You hold the door soon. Okay. Bye, bye, guys. Yeah. I want to make sure you guys eat before we go. Cause we oh, it's eat. still running. I can't oh. ever stop my finger. It doesn't sense. Anything. I don't know if I have You're bad. You're cold blood. You know what? I also, at bathrooms, Where? when they have the automatic, like, 